in a quiet town in a quiet village somewhere in Normandy, France, my friend Stacy and her partner Rick purchased a property during the global pandemic. And since then, they've never looked back. Packing all the belongings up into a truck with two dogs and two cats, they now live in this amazing place that they call home. Four acres of land for the animals to enjoy. There was only one thing for it, to expand our group of animal friends. And that's what the life in the countryside's all about. In these episodes, find out how to care for a farm and what goes on day by day. And when you think you've done it all, there's always somebody else that needs feeding. Bienvenue and welcome to the farm. Hello again from a hot and sunny Normandy, France. The weather has exceeded 40 degrees this summer, which is unusual. But today, I've got a treat for you. You get to meet the farm goose, my favourite bird on the farm. And her name is Ericlea. Now, Ericlea, the story of Ericlea is actually quite sad. She was rejected by Mummy Goose, so... Stacey and Rick said, yeah, sure, we'll have her. And then I turned up. And since then, over the past four weeks, we've hand-reared this goose. So we're hoping that she's going to be super friendly. But, without further ado, I introduce to you... Ericlea the Goose. And this little goose was really demanding. It was really needy. It needed to follow you everywhere you wanted to go. It was like, you're going somewhere, please let me come with you. And I was like, all right then, you can come. Come on, keep up. Keep up. Come on then. Keep up. It was important from the start that we established a good gosling routine. So every morning we would get up together, walk across the lawn to the duck house to let the terrors out. And once the terrors had gone, we could then continue our path. Now the ducks don't really like Ericlea um, because she's a tiny little baby bird and they don't understand what she is. But you know, she's gonna be 10 times bigger than them, so that's all gonna change. Regardless, we let the ducks depart and onward we would go to our next place. And together we would walk, sometimes I'd walk ahead and she'd get scared and be like, peep, 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 you're leaving me behind, why are you leaving me behind? Mm. And we'd get over that bit and go and feed the chickens next. But the routine was really always important with us. So now we've got to feed the chickens. I know that you're only concerned with eating grass, but the chickens need food. Hey, would you want to look at this? What's this? Oh, it's the biggest bucket of food you ever did see in your whole damn life. Go on, have you fill before them horrible chickens take it all? Go on, first dibs. Peep, 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 I'm just letting the chickens out, don't you worry. I still hear. You scared that left you. I haven't left you. I'm here. I'm here. You just couldn't see me because I was in the chicken coop. Come on. Goosey. Goosey. Our work is done. Our hard work of the morning is done. Are you happy? How happy are you? Should we go for a run? Should we go for a run? How well, about we run? Goosey, come on then. <sighs> was she scared that I was leaving you behind? Ericlea, are you loving your grass? That got you. She's on the couch with me, aren't you? In your little blanket, because you're a pillar. You alright then? Goose. 
Murphy. Good. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do. Baby, yeah, she's a little baby. Yeah, she's a little baby. Okay. Yeah, get out. She's out. You're nipping my big old wings. Ow! She was trying to be like the others and all run away from me. This is the pet case. How old is she now? Does anyone know? Um, two, she's been here four months. weeks. Two months, maybe? Two months old. You're a teenager. Yeah. Is that why you She's definitely starting to rebel. It's okay, Mama Goose won't bite you. I won't bite the baby. I do goose noises back to it. I learn how to speak the same language so I can communicate with her. She's just like a dinosaur, really, isn't it? She's not a dinosaur, she's a fluffy smelling goose. Very fluffy dinosaur. Everyone says you smell, but I don't know if it's because I'm always touching you or something, but I think she smells good. She looks smell like that. She on you. The poo doesn't smell good, but whose poo smells good? That's the noise that she makes all night. Yeah. Don't what do you do? Clack your, does she clack her beak together? Sometimes she bites the cage as well. You can hear her oh, biting. Oh, is that what you're doing? Trying to break out of prison because you were sleeping in a cat basket. So, yeah. Laura. Why don't you tell us how you find living with a goose? Well, part of me wants to kick her out into a goose house because she poops in the morning, smells really bad. But then when I think about it, I just can't let her go. She's a part of the family now and I feel like she forever needs to stay in the house, but she's going to grow yay big. How big? How big are you Four actually going to be? Four times the size she is. Four now, times really? the size. Is she going to be the size of one of the dogs? <laughs> Never enough. Oh, I don't know. If it... And does that mean her poos will increase in size? What, like a dog-sized poo? Really? I don't know, maybe. I don't know if you can keep living in the house, mate, but I love you so much with all my heart. You can come in for cuddles every night as long as you don't start being all hissy. She won't be hissy. She's not a hissy job. bit. That like a purr? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It is a goose purr. Oh, has anybody else ever hugged a goose in their life before they got this goose? Has anybody ever been caught this close to a bird? Not anyone out of us. I wouldn't say so. No, I don't think any. I, I've never been this close to a bird before. She's funny. Why don't you tell me what you've been doing all day anyway? Because you're getting a little bit, a little bit sure of yourself nowadays. Very independent. Don't eat that. That is that is not your. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be eating that. Very clear. Don't eat that. Rick's going to be very angry at you. Rick is going to be angry at you. Stop eating his vegetables. No, these don't grow very fast. They're, they're a, a bantam breed, so they're like a small chicken. All hatching at the same time. I guess you keep taking pictures there. Right? Honestly, every day she grows like two inches. I'm not even joking. You're a big bird. Now, why? You do what you do to the camera because it's great. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. Are you talking? <laughs> You're so funny.
Hi. Hi. Hi everyone. And this is another episode of my travel vlog to Normandy, France, which is where we are now. And this is Stacey. And this is my garden. Isn't it lovely? The weather's been really, really hot for the past couple of weeks. So the grass is looking a little bit less green than it usually does. We've hit 39 degrees, was it? I know. And what was I doing? <laughs> Anybody to think that I've not traveled like the far east and experienced temperatures like this before, but it has been super nice. Would you like some tea? I would love some tea, thanks. What have we got? Um, we have Earl Grey, I think. Mm. It's lovely to have a bit of Earl Grey in the, in the French countryside in the summer, isn't it, darling? Yes, especially out of a vintage Chinese tea set. Even better. So I thought we'd um, have a bit of tea time in the garden before I introduce you to my favourite bird on the farm. Um, she's very special to me. Just going to interrupt you right here. This is your personal sugar pot and your personal sugar spoon so that you can put an insane amount of sugar in this but tiny I thought all, I thought the dog stole my sugar. Yes. We went out last night and when we came back, is that too much? This is only a tiny cup, isn't mm. it? The thing is, is I eat about five kilograms of sugar every month and that isn't even a joke. So now the amount of sugar that you put in that tiny cup is has been recorded for posterity. Yes, no, basically. I'm going to get worms or diabetes or both. Do you get worms from too much sugar? Well, my nana told me that. Yes, but is that true or is it just an old wives tale? <laughs> we might have to check that. So yeah, Earl Grey in the summer. Hmm, so refreshing. I know why people in hot countries like to drink this. Yeah, apparently tea cools you down if you're in a hot country, but I don't know if that's another wives tale. <laughs> I think it just makes you sweat. <laughs> which in turn kills you down ladies and gentlemen so the theory is correct our least favorite thing about the heat are the flies we have had a problem with the black flies in france this uh, summer because there has been a lot of Keep fruit going. yes thank you there's been a lot of fruit on the trees, which is good because we've got to eat a lot of it and so have the birds, but then so do the flies when it drops off the trees. So there is an exceptional amount of them around at the moment and they're my favourite, aren't they? Mm. And what also happens in France is when the temperature does go up to 35 degrees, you start to get mosquitoes, which like to bite me, don't they? They do. So last week, I looked like I'd been attacked, had lumps all over me. And I used to get bit in Thailand quite a lot, but these ones were rabid. These ones were like ginormous, itchy and painful. Thanks to the heat wave in France. Hmm. Beautiful. <clears throat> Goosey, 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 who's a little goosey, she's a little goosey. <sighs> beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 This is Everclear the Goose. What kind of a goose is she? She's a Toulouse goose. A Toulouse goose. Um, she's a very messy eater. She's very messy all around, to be honest with you, from both Look ends. At that. I know. There's no need for it, is there? I've told her. We've tried to have. And now she's eating your hand. Yeah, she wants to eat everything. She's got little razor sharp teeth as well, so this, when she was a baby, wasn't such an issue, but now you're like, ow. Um, how did we come about with this goose? Well, um, she came from a ne nearby farm. Um, they had a couple of geese and the geese hatched their own eggs and they had six goslings and this one was the smallest and weakest of them. Oh, were well, you the run? She was the run. She was the run. And unfortunately, her family rejected her. Um, so another lady who was friends of the couple with the original geese decided to give her a chance and try to hand rear her. 
and she did this for a few weeks but as um, Iraclea was growing and growing she realised that she didn't actually have uh, the right setup for such a, a large goose mm. um, and so she decided to find a more suitable home and ended up dropping her off here with us and that is how you got here and since then she's been staying in the house with us and I've become a little bit attached to her even though she does stink but I have become attached to her like she did go to bed last night with the geese and the ducks didn't she yes shortly shortly yeah and then I was like oh we're gonna have to go and get the goose it's not right we need to go and get her and bring her back so we went and got her so she nearly did one night out last night but didn't and I just don't think I can put her in the pen at night with the others because she's been our little baby. Hey, your baby. She's a baby. And she's just getting a big girl feathers now as well. You were all fluffy, weren't you? Yeah. So basically it's a dilemma. We have a growing goose that is fast becoming pretty huge. She is and big now. we don't know if we should continue to let her sleep in our small house or if she needs a home of her own. Do you want to move out? Is it that time already? Please comment down below and let Laura know if it's time for the goose to move out. Don't make me move the goose out, guys. I love her. I'm going to show you some videos of um, Ericlea when she was a baby. And she used to follow me and everything like I was a mama goose Aww. with her arms in the air and it was super cute. And I just, I feel like if we put her in with the geese and the ducks, then she's not going to like us anymore. Not not like us, but you know, become more goose-like. <laughs> that thing that they do, but I hope she'll never be a hisser. Oh, but she is a goose. I know she's a goose and I know she might do that kind of stuff, but... I'm just hoping that she trusts us enough to not run away from us. Because Ginny, the other goose, is friendly, but she doesn't, she's not like Ericlea. She doesn't come no. to you and she's not like, hey guys, yeah. And she actually actively comes towards you as if to say, where are we going? So she is a special goose, aren't you, baby girl? Aren't you, baby girl? You special. She will go show the viewers your very beautiful face. Yes, and your beautiful yellow eyeliner. Yeah, she's got like, a line right the way around her eye that's bright yellow and it's so special isn't it you always look pretty don't you effortless isn't it effortless effortless greediness she's all right there's no wonder there's no wonder people fatten the geese up because it's not difficult to fatten geese up they just do it she just doesn't stop eating in the middle of the night she runs out of food she's screaming If you run out of water, you're screaming, aren't you? Like a little baby, like a real little baby. Show your beautiful face to the camera. Look, show the people how pretty you are. Here you go, girl. Should we go and put you down for a walk where it's a bit less sunny? Yeah, I'm going to see some grass. Your favorite. It's your favourite, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Show the people how funny you are. What? Wait, 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 wait. Don't go on your face again because you know you've got no balance. <laughs> the amount of times she's just face planted the floor. She's a baby girl. She's a fatty. You're excited because you've not ate that bit yet. Yeah. Do you want to put her in the pond? Do I want to put her in the pond? Do I want to put her in the pond? She's never been in the pond. 
Ericlea. Want to go for baby first swim? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Yep. Yeah. She makes this really funny sound when you pick her up like a honk. And I'm like, it's okay. We're going to be okay. Should we go for a swim? Where do you think the best place is to get in, Stacey? Just down there where it's very shallow. Okay. Let's try this then. The pond is barely more than the swamp currently, so we aren't worried. That's because we've had a heat wave and it's all dried up. But I think it's perfect for us. Perfect for baby first, isn't it? Yes. We're ready. Oh, look at all that muddy deliciousness for you. Yes. Okay, ready. Don't do a face plant here because it's rocky, okay? You have to stand up properly, okay? So, oh, straight in. Oh, you're going to smell even better now that you've been in the swamp. Yeah. I don't know if she's sure about it. She's like, what is this place? <laughs> oh, is it disgusting and swampy? I think she likes that. She does like it. <laughs> this pond used to be so deep as well. I remember it used to come to here. It did in the winter. Yeah, right back to where we stood now. It was it was full in the winter. Oh, serious. It's coming. Sirius has decided to investigate. He is the top drake in the pond duck pack. And now there's a, another goose on his patch. Oh, she's having a right guzzle in there. She can swim, yeah? Yes, of course she can swim. She's okay, a goose. Just, just checking. <laughs> She hasn't swam, ever. She hasn't wanted to, but she can. Okay. Now the next question is, how do I get her back out of there? She'll come out when she's ready. We have some ducks closing in, in the background. to happen next. Mm. Are you scared of them? The scary duck pack coming to get you. You're bigger than them though, River Clear. You're bigger. You, you are bigger than them. Also, you're supposed to become their protector. Scared of goose. Well, I'm glad she came back out on her own accord because I didn't much fancy putting my feet into that. Didn't you? No. I mean, I'd have lost my favourite flip-flops. <laughs> I've been wearing these flip-flops for three years. It's um, pan to the flip-flop. This is the best flip-flop that I've ever bought in my life. And I'm not about to lose them in that pond. Even to save her from the duck gang. 
Don't get yourself in trouble and risk my flip flops again. Okay, our true. It's running out of battery. Okay. So that was baby's first swim and she seemed to be okay in the water until the ducks came along, that was. And I think it's because it wasn't too deep and actually, you know, it was a good way to introduce her to it rather than a full pond that she was a bit intimidated by, wasn't she? So, yeah, my goose is growing up very quickly and I don't like it. It's like I've just took her to preschool or something. Baby's first swim, you know, it's, it's milestones in life and we've just hit one of those and I've only had her a month. I feel like it's very quick. She's very thankful that we brought her down to the pond where the fresh, ripe grass is, though. She's like, yes, this is very tasty grass. A Toulouse goose mainly eats grass, so that's why this is so exciting for her. We have tried her with some seed and stuff, and she does have some seeds sometimes, but she prefers the grass. These guys clearly prefer the mud. What is he trying to get when he does that thing with his nose? Beak. Beak nose. Mmm, tasty. Next time I'm going to get Jemmy on the couch, if I can catch her. This is Jemmy. She's my favourite white duck. Because we bought her from the market, didn't we? In my last vlog I showed us going to the market and Stacey bought chickens and I bought ducks. And that was one of the ducks. And she's how old now? Uh, I don't know, a year and a half. A year and a half old. Little baby Jemmy. <laughs> She's very fat. I like fat animals, me. Like chunky animals. Like the goose, the big fat white duck, zebra. All chunky animals. I like them. I wonder when it will rain, though. We need some rain. Another month of this, and this will be completely dry. And then the duckies will have nowhere to bathe. Where's my goose? Why is the goose just, why is she just sat there? Right, okay. She's happy. Come on, goosey goosey gander, where shall we wander? Let's go. Oh, I forgot you'd been in that. Oh. Oh, she's very disgustingly wet. What do I do now? Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, yay! Oh, what a dirty what tummy! What a dirty tummy you have got! How about you go for a little wander? Yonder, there you go. Go on, dry out. She's very gross. Very muddy from the pond. Okay, guys, and I will show you a few more bits from Ericlea's journey with us. And hopefully you'll get to see what she looks like in another month, which will be grown up, big feathers. <laughs> Full colour, just like Ginny the Goose. Come on then. Let's go back. Oh! Are you scared of the wolf? I would be scared of the wolf too. No, Snee. What a beautiful boy. He's a beautiful boy. Good boy. Beautiful boy. Oh, off you go. Oh, you're so scuzzy. Come on, scuzzy. Peep, peep. Peeper. Come on, peep. Come on, peeper. Come on, peep, peep. Come on, peeperella. And off we went, me and the goose, back into the vegetable garden so she could eat some more of Rick's vegetables. 
And if you like the story of me and Heraclea today, come and join us again in Normandy, France for another instalment next time. Thank you.